This is a packing service and repair video for the General Pump Model HTS-2215S. The tools and supplies needed for this repair are a ratchet, a 22 mm socket, a 17 mm socket, a 13 mm socket, two support pins, an adjustable wrench, two flathead screwdrivers, a packing extractor tool, a 22 mm collet, a round head tool, packing lubricant, a soft rubber mallet, a pick, thread lubricant and sealant, and a torque wrench. Use a ratchet with a 13 mm socket attached to remove the eight manifold retaining bolts. Insert two positioning pins into the upper outermost holes. Use an adjustable wrench to rotate the crankshaft. This will separate the manifold from the crankcase. Insert two flathead screwdrivers between the manifold and the crankcase and pry the manifold from the crankcase. Remove the manifold. Insert the packing extractor tool with a 22 millimeter collet attached into the packing stack. Secure the tool into the stack. Hammer upward to then remove the stack. Remove the stack from the packing extractor tool. Use a round head tool to remove the low pressure seal from the packing retainer. Use a flat head screwdriver to remove the high pressure seal from the manifold. The parts of the packing retainer are a low pressure seal, a packing retainer, an intermediate ring, and a high pressure seal. Replace the high pressure seal. Use packing lubricant to apply to the outer circumference of the new high pressure seal. Insert the new seal spring side down into the manifold. Insert a 22 mm socket into the manifold and lightly tap with a soft rubber mallet. Apply packing lubricant to the outer circumference of a new low pressure seal. Apply the seal spring side up into the packing retainer. Insert the packing retainer tool onto the packing retainer and firmly press down to fully seat the new seal. Insert the intermediate ring, tapered end down, into the manifold. Apply packing lubricant onto the outer circumference of the packing retainer. Insert the packing retainer into the manifold. Remove the two support pins. Use a ratchet with a 17 mm socket to loosen and remove the plunger bolt and the plunger. Use a pick to remove the backup ring and the O-ring from the plunger bolt. The parts of the plunger assembly are the plunger, a copper washer, a backup ring, an O-ring, and a plunger bolt. Always replace the copper washer, the backup ring, and the O-ring. Be sure to inspect the plunger for cracks, pitting, and or scoring, and replace if necessary. Inspect the plunger bolt at the O-ring and backup ring sealing surface. Replace it if necessary. Install a copper washer, an O-ring, and a backup ring onto the plunger bolt. Apply a small amount of Loctite onto the thread of the plunger bolt. Install the assembled bolt into the plunger. 
Install the flinger washer over the piston guide. Thread the plunger bolt onto the piston guide. Use a torque wrench with a 17 mm socket and tighten the plunger bolt to the proper specs. Use an adjustable wrench to rotate the crankshaft until the center plunger is at its outermost position while the other two plungers are staggered. Insert the support pins into the two upper holes of the crankcase. Apply packing lubricant to each of the plungers. Slide the manifold onto the crankcase. Apply thread lubricant onto each of the manifold bolts. Thread six of the manifold bolts into the crankcase. Use a ratchet with a 13 mm socket to tighten each of the bolts. Be sure to tighten the bolts in the proper order as shown in the diagram. Remove the two support pins. Thread the remaining two bolts and use a ratchet with a 13 mm socket to tighten the remaining two bolts. Use a torque wrench with a 13 mm socket to tighten to the proper specs. This is a valve service video for the general pump model HTS-2215S. The tools needed for this repair are a ratchet, a 30 mm socket, a needle nose pliers, a pick, a round head tool, and a torque wrench. The inlet and outlet valves are comprised of the same components. To service a valve, use a ratchet with a 30 mm socket to remove a valve cap. Use a needle nose pliers to remove a valve from the manifold. Use a pick to remove the O-ring and the anti-extrusion ring from the manifold. Use a round head tool to inspect the manifold at the valve mating surface for stepping, washout, cracks, or damage. Insert the round head tool into the valve between the poppet and the cage to remove the cage, the valve spring, and the cage onto the seat, snapping the cage into place. Insert the anti-extrusion ring, the O-ring, and the valve into the manifold. Use a needle nose pliers to properly seat the valve into place. Inspect the valve cap O-ring for damage and replace if necessary. Thread the valve cap and hand tighten. Use a torque wrench with a 30 millimeter socket to tighten to the proper specs. This is a piston guide oil seal replacement video for the general pump model HTS-2215S. The tools and supplies needed for this repair are a ratchet, a 13 mm socket, a 17 mm socket, two support pins, an adjustable wrench, packing lubricant, two flathead screwdrivers, a soft rubber mallet, a piston guide oil seal removal tool, a pick, thread lubricant and sealant, and a torque wrench. Use a ratchet with a 13 mm socket attached to remove the eight manifold retaining bolts. Insert two positioning pins into the upper outermost holes. Use an adjustable wrench to rotate the crankshaft. This will separate the manifold from the crankcase. 
Insert two flathead screwdrivers between the manifold and the crankcase and pry the manifold from the crankcase. Remove the manifold. Remove the two support pins. Use a ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket to loosen and remove the plunger bolt and the plunger. Use a needle nose pliers to remove the flinger washer. Insert the piston guide oil seal removal tool into the cylinder and hammer into place. Firmly pull the tool and the old piston guide oil seal out of the cylinder. Apply a new piston guide oil seal onto the insertion tool. Insert the tool and the new seal into the crankcase. Hammer the insertion tool until the new seal is securely in place. Install a copper washer and O-ring and a backup ring onto the plunger bolt. Apply a small amount of Loctite onto the thread of the plunger bolt. Install the assembled bolt into the plunger. Install the flinger washer over the piston guide. Thread the plunger bolt onto the piston guide. Use a torque wrench with a 17 mm socket and tighten the plunger bolt to the proper specs. Use an adjustable wrench to rotate the crankshaft until the center plunger is at its outermost position while the other two plungers are staggered. Insert the support pins into the two upper holes of the crankcase. Apply packing lubricant to each of the plungers. Slide the manifold onto the crankcase. Apply thread lubricant onto each of the manifold bolts. Thread six of the manifold bolts into the crankcase. Use a ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket to tighten each of the bolts. Be sure to tighten the bolts in the proper order as shown in the diagram. Remove the two support pins. Thread the remaining two bolts and use a ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket to tighten the remaining two bolts. Use a torque wrench with a 13 millimeter socket to tighten to the proper specs. This is a clutch assembly video for the general pump model HTS 2215S. The tools needed for this repair are a 2 mm hex, a gear puller, two 11 mm wrenches, a centering tool, thread locker, and anti-seize lubricant. Insert a 2 mm hex into the access slot of the coil plate and loosen the first of two set screws. Rotate the pulley and loosen the second set screw. Apply the gear puller and use a wrench to loosen the pulley assembly. Remove the pulley assembly from the coil. Use two 11 mm wrenches to loosen and remove the four bolts that hold the coil to the mounting plate. Remove the coil. Apply the coil and position the centering tool over the crankshaft to position the coil properly. Use the four bolts to tighten the coil back into place. Remove the centering tool. Apply thread locker to the two set screws. Loosely thread the screws back into the pulley.
apply anti-seize lubricant onto the crankshaft. Position the pulley assembly onto the crankshaft. Insert a 2 mm hex into the access slot of the coil plate and tighten the first of two set screws. Rotate the pulley and tighten the second set screw.